Hey friends, in today's tutorial, I wanna show you how to build a back to top button and put it on your Squarespace website. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm not gonna talk about the code, how to use the, how to build the code and all of that. We're just gonna design it visually very easily and just copy and paste the code in there. So I'm gonna show you how to use this back to top builder. All right, so the first thing on this builder is this presets right here. So you can choose between any one of these presets, but feel free to change any of the styles down below. Uh, these presets just, preset a couple of the styles, but you can change this however you want. So let's just go with maybe the arrow only, no text on there, um, and talk about some of these. I'm not going to go over all these because a lot of them are pretty self-explanatory once you just start playing around. So just play around with it and see what they do. Um, but uh, there are a few that I want to go over. So this orange color, maybe I don't really like that orange color. So I'm going to go over to the background color, click on that, and maybe just pull this over. Uh, to a light gray, but maybe I know exactly what I want and I, I want to add in my hex color right here If I just hit this up down arrow, it'll toggle between the color types that we can use So I'm just gonna add in my uh, f5 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 just a very light light gray right there uh, And maybe I also want to add a background or a border to this so I'm just gonna add one pixel of thickness to our border right there uh, That looks pretty good now we've done the background color, ooh, a blur effect. So these are kind of cool. So I can turn this blur effect up to about five pixels of blur, um, but you'll notice nothing is changing there. And the blur effect only works if we have an opacity. So I'm gonna drop this opacity down to about 25% right there. And as you scroll, you can see there's that nice little blur effect. Uh, last property, last style I wanna show what it does over here is the show on scroll. Default is 0%, so it's always there at the very top of the screen. But if we change this maybe to 50%, then that means it won't show until we've scrolled 50% of the height of whatever device you're looking at this on. So for me, the height is about here to here. So 50% is somewhere around here. So once I've scrolled that far, it should pop up. So that is pretty good. And then it'll hide again once we scroll back up. So I actually only want this to show once I've scrolled just a little bit, maybe like 5% right there. So it just pops up immediately. So this is now looking the way I want. I've set my effects the way I want. Next, we need to add in our code. So I'm gonna to toggle over to this code tab and we need to paste in two pieces of code. First, our custom CSS. This goes into our design custom CSS area and then our HTML and JavaScript. And this goes into our code injection area throughout the entire site. So first, let's start with the CSS. I'm just going to hit copy. These, this code has been pre-populated based on whatever styles you chose there. So you don't need to change anything. So let's go over to our website, design, custom CSS. Just paste it in right there. That's it. Done. Now let's go back. Next piece of code that we need is our HTML and JavaScript. So I'm going to do the same thing. All this was pre-populated based on whatever you chose over here. So I'm going to hit copy, go back to our website. Let's go to our settings, advanced code injection area. Now put this in the footer area right there. So I'm just going to paste that right there. Hit save. And... Here it is, and once we've scrolled about 5%, then it pops up, so perfect, and then it hides away. And then, of course, as it should, it should work, pull you back up to the top of the screen. So there we go, that is how you build this back to top button builder. Uh, at the bottom over here, if you, have, if you notice any bugs or have any other questions, just hit this and fill out this little question right here, uh, and I, I will try to get back with you as fast as I can. So hope this helps, let me know if you have any other questions, and have a great day.